What is going on guys? Today I want to talk about one of the more interesting features in Ashes of Creation, which is the housing and freehold systems. In Ashes of Creation, there are multiple types of housing that have their unique benefits to yourself as a player. There are apartment, which are instance housing within nodes, static housing, which is non-instance housing, which comes on a first come first serve basis for players who purchase within a node once it's developed, and then there are freeholds, which can be placed on freehold plots within the world, which allow players to customize it with various areas that can benefit different trades and skills. Obviously, as I've said before, all of this information is subject to change as the game continues to develop. Starting with apartments, these areas, like I said, are instance spaces within nodes that offer some internal use only within housing, allowing you to customize it with furniture and trophies and such. There are various price points and sizes for these buildings, and the prices themselves can change based on the demand and the number of units already sold within the zone due to there only being a set number available to purchase per node. Once owned, you can decorate it with various furniture and paintings that can be freely placed how you choose. And photos will also be able to be uploaded into the game so you can hang your own creations in your house for others to see. There is various amounts of furniture that can be crafted based on your character's skill as a craft person, allowing for the creation of higher quality furniture if desired. There will also be trophy items that can be displayed in your house, rewarded from in-game achievements that you may have completed. There is some risk to owning a house though, as nodes can be destroyed in the world through sieges, and if your node is destroyed or de-leveled, you may lose your house. But any decorations you have placed will be mailed to you so you can place them in your new house when you decide to move on. For static housing, these houses are non-instance houses that are able to be purchased at node stage 3. As the node levels up from here, so does the houses themselves along with the amount of houses that are available. But the houses that existed at the village stage have the option to become mansions when the node hits the metropolis stage, so you'll want to get in and buy one of these first houses as soon as they become available because it's the only way to get a mansion other than buying it off another player. The style of these houses will be determined on the influential race within the node's development, so if the majority of players committing to the node's development are dwarves, then they will have a more dwarven architecture to them. These houses, like apartments, can be destroyed or de-leveled with a node, giving players a lot more incentive to want to defend a node from attack, especially if you own one of those mansions. Once a node hits stage 3, players can begin purchasing freehold plots within the node's zone of influence. These land plots are roughly half an acre in size, and the higher level a node is, the more freeholds that can be placed. Freeholds are like your own personal homestead that have a variety of customization options for you to choose from, placing various buildings that will enhance your crafting and perhaps give you access to materials. These buildings include blacksmiths, forges, farms, guild halls, houses, inns, lumber yards, mills, player run shops, shrines, smelters, stables, and fisheries. Each of these buildings have their own purpose such as planting crops from farmland or gathering different types of fish from the fishery or even getting special quests from player owned taverns. The architecture in the freehold is not locked to any particular race. There are numerous building designs to choose from and some that even now can be purchased by the backer packages on the Ashes of Creation website. A freehold is open for attack for a two hour period following a successful siege against its node. This will require players to gather up their friends to defend their homes during this period of time. Players will also be able to place structures and guards to assist in defending of your freehold. Any remaining freeholds that have not been destroyed after a successful siege will be allowed to be taken over by another node's zone of influence if your freehold is in that area as long as the node is stage 3. Otherwise, the freehold will be destroyed after roughly one week's time. What are your thoughts on housing in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you have yet to create an Ashes account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.